Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a huge haul. We're going to be going through some items that I picked up for the holidays and for winter mainly, as well as some gifts that were given to me by friends and some really awesome random stuff in between. I have so much to haul because my last haul was so long ago that I didn't even want to put it in the frame because it, you wouldn't be able to see anything. I filled up a big box full of stuff, so I'm super excited. I foresee this one being quite long, so grab a snack, grab some water or tea, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off this haul with some accessories, and to kick off the accessory section, I do have some of my favorite collectible Pen Gems pens. You guys know that I love to collect these, and I've amassed quite a collection over the years. I have two different collections to share with you guys today, Dolce Vita and then also Christmas Lights. And I did want to apologize to you guys, I haven't been able to film a haul in a little while because I've just been waiting for items to accumulate. I've been doing a little bit less shopping, so unfortunately Dolce Vita has already released. However, I did check this morning and the pens are individually still in stock as well as the little notebook, so hopefully you can still get your hands on them. The Christmas Lights Collection, and I will show you these all in a moment, the Christmas Lights Collection, which is gorgeous and Christmas and festive, actually doesn't come out until November 24th, so Black Friday, as a pre-order for people who are signed up for the newsletter, and then they are released to the rest of the public on Monday the 27th, so hopefully you guys are still able to grab all of these. So I am going to share with you the pens first. Okay, so here we have the Dolce Vita collection, and this collection has three pens that all feature a gorgeous faux marble effect on the barrel. So these are super unique because there haven't been many printed pen gems at all, and here we have a gorgeous set of three, and I think that it's really awesome because marble print has become so popular over like the last year, especially I think. So we've got three here and they each have individual names. So here we have Marquina and this is a black sort of uh, marble effect with white with clear crystals and then all of the hardware is gold. Then we have Rosalia and this is a faux pink marble with pink gems and a pink gem on top with silver hardware. And then lastly, we have Carrera, which is a more traditional white and gray marble with clear crystals and then a gray stone on top. So these are really pretty and I think they'll match really well with all of those gorgeous marbly kits that have been coming out for your planners, especially again over the past year and especially also for New Year's. I think that these would be really nice. And then with every Pen Gems release, all of the last few ones, uh, Pen Gems has also come out with a matching notebook. This is a stone notebook, so the paper is made out of stone. Uh, so apparently it's waterproof and tearproof. So you can get these uh, for a really low price to go along with your pens. And this is probably really good if you're ever going to go to the beach. So this is the Dolce Vita collection, so hopefully you can still get your hands on it. Then, of course, we have the Christmas Lights Collection with its matching little notebook. Again, a cute stone paper notebook. This is the collection. We've got three pens here. Super festive, as you can tell. We've got uh, Jingle Bells, which is this beautiful red. And it's a deeper red than the other one that they've made in the past. And this barrel looks a bit more like a chrome barrel than a traditional barrel. The uh, gems are red, and then so is the gem on top. So this is going to be stunning for the holidays, but also for Valentine's Day, 4th of July, everything in between. Then we have Deck the Halls, which is a really beautiful sort of evergreen with green gems, and then of course the green top. And this is actually going to be my first green pen gem, so that's really exciting. Wonderful for this time of year, of course, but also for like St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that. And then lastly, we have Winter Wonderland. This is great uh, whether or not you celebrate Christmas. This would be beautiful for a Hanukkah gift. Um, and then also just for winter, of course, with this deep sapphire blue with a blue stone and blue gems. And this looks a lot like my birthstone, which is sapphire. So those are really gorgeous. So those are all of the pens from Pen Gems, the two collections. I do have a link down below in the description, which will save you 10% off. 
and I believe that code also works on these new releases as well so be sure to go ahead and use that it is an affiliate link so if you don't feel comfortable using that that's absolutely fine you can also just sign up to be a pen gems VIP and still get 10% off with your code that you get as a VIP so I hope that you guys enjoyed them these are so beautiful and they're so they're so gorgeous in your planner so I definitely suggest them especially as a gift for the holidays this would be a great gift I definitely love to get them as a gift myself the next accessories that I have for this haul are some washi tapes and I've got washi from two different places I've got three from simply gilded and then also some from the target dollar spot so I'm going to get started with the simply gilded ones first you guys have heard me mention simply gilded washi so many times throughout the past few years that I've been on YouTube these are my favorite washies to purchase and especially I love the bow washies you guys know that uh, so much so that I created a whole sticker for it in my Etsy shop if you didn't know I am making stickers on Etsy now but I've got one sticker dedicated to bow washi because I love it so much but uh, I picked these up over two different purchases so first I picked up this black and silver bow set these came as a set together and Irene has been doing that more often where she will sell a skinny bow as well as the traditional bow at the same time. So this is black with silver foiled bows and this is super different for me. I don't really go for silver but I thought that it looked beautiful with the black. It's super chic and I think that this will look really nice in the new year and really year round. Black and silver... I think it's pretty timeless and with this order I did get a journaling card I usually always do and it's this beautiful rose gold foiled one with some macarons tied up with a really pretty bow that says la belle vie which I believe means beautiful life or the beautiful life so this is really really gorgeous a staple in my collection and then my second purchase was similar but a little bit more festive. I picked up this beautiful red bow washi with a hot gold bow on it. It's super festive for the holidays and I really, I mainly got this so that I could have it during the holiday season. I know that I'll use this on my cards and in my planner and in all of my holiday crafting so I could not pass up the opportunity for this and again really pretty I think for Valentine's Day or the 4th of July. And then with this purchase, I did get another journaling card. I got this festive one, which is so pretty, with a red bow, also with foiling and a sort of stripey background. And the gold foiling says Happy Holidays. So this will be a great thing to put in my Christmas planner. So really happy with all of my Simply Gilded washi. Then, like I mentioned, I also picked up some washi from a different place. These are all from the Target Dollar Spot or the Target Bullseye section. Uh, over the last few weeks, they've had a major holiday overhaul with tons of uh, holiday accessories, not only for stationery and crafting, but also for general decorating and card making. So I picked up these three that I thought were really pretty and would work well with this time of year and even beyond that. So specifically for the holiday season, I did pick up this one here. This is, I think it's a paper tape, so not a washi. So it's got backing, um, but it's white and it's got a red foil, so pretty, and it says do not open until Christmas over and over again. So again, I think this would be really pretty for decorating presents or cards or just about anything. And then I picked up these two, which I felt would be a little bit more... Uh, appropriate for year round. They're not necessarily seasonal. I picked up this. These did come in like individual wrapping, but it was just like a piece of plastic. This is a gold foil scallop washi. So this is also a paper tape, not a, not an actual washi. And it's held down by tape. So I just, well, okay. So I ripped it, but this is, as you can tell, it's scalloped and it is gold foil. So I think that this would be so pretty in my crafting, um, specifically if I layered it over another strip of washi on the bottom of my planner pages. So pretty. I am a sucker for scallops. My card holder for my business cards in my office is actually uh, from Target as well, and it matches this. It has scallops on it, so this is so beautiful. And again, I feel like I could use this for so many things. I definitely want to grab more if I can find it. And then lastly, in terms of washi, I picked up this gold glitter washi. This is actual washi tape, and it's really, really similar to the scotch washi. Let me grab one of those. 
So if you've been watching my channel for a little while now, I'm positive that you've seen me use this washi here. This is a really similar gold glitter washi, but as you can see, it is by Scotch Brand. I also get this at Target, and it's about 3 to $4, and it's a fabulous tape because it doesn't shed, and it's perfectly adhesive but really easy to work with so and it's beautiful it's like a beautiful true gold glitter so a staple in my collection for sure and when I was in the Target dollar spot and I spotted this one I knew that I had to have it as you can tell it's super similar like the golds are pretty spot on this one is maybe a touch warmer but this one also does not shed I have glitter on my hands for other reasons I promise and it's a bit thicker if you can see there so it's more so almost like bottom washi in a kit size so I just thought that it'd be good to have this in my collection if I ever needed anything that's a little bit thicker and again it was a fraction of the price and it seems super similar so really happy about that so that's all of the washi that I picked up at Target the next items that I have to share with you guys are some really gorgeous clips and charms that I picked up specifically for my holiday traveler's notebook that I'll be decorating sometime soon with you guys. I picked that up for the holidays. I wanted some decor to really make it super festive, so I was just doing some general searches on Etsy. I do a lot of my shopping that way, just kind of seeing what I find from the search function. And I was looking for some red bows and clips uh, because nothing is more holiday to me than red and white stripes and red and gold. It's my favorite color to decorate with during the holidays. So I came across actually a shop that I have um, gotten some items from before. This is Two Little Bow Babies. And this is a shop run by a really sweet lady named Amalia. And back in the spring or so, I hosted my first event with the New York City Planner Attic and I had some swag and she was kind enough to donate a gorgeous bow clip to everybody who attended so this is not my first time having some bows from her shop just my first time ordering them so I knew that they'd be really great quality so I was really happy to find some that I really enjoyed in her shop uh, another thing is that I feel like these are super affordable I think for these clips and charms I only paid I, I don't think it was more than about three or four dollars for any of them I just checked and I believe the most expensive one was about $3.50 and I find that when it comes to clips and charms and bows for your planners, they can, there can be a real range in prices so I think that these are super affordable and they're really beautifully made so I picked up four items and she sent an extra to my way so first I'll share with you what I actually purchased. So this is my little purchase here. I did keep just about everything in its packaging. I first picked up this gorgeous big bow charm. As you can tell, it is a red and white striped uh, bow with a glitter center. And this is like a faux sequin center. So it's really kind of fuzzy, but it's really, really pretty and glittery at the same time, but it doesn't shed. And it's on a gold clip. And this was only about $3.50. So I love this. I'm going to stick this right on the front of my uh, holiday planner because I think it's going to look gorgeous. And this is what the packaging looks like. I'm not going to take it out just because it's really cute and I won't be using these quite yet. So there we are. And then to go along with that, I did also want to pick up a really pretty standard red bow. Again, I think that I can use this year round. Uh, and I picked this up not only for my traveler's notebook, but also for my Erin Condren since it's just a standard paper clip. It's the perfect shade of holiday red. That's another thing that I was really looking for. A bright sort of candy cane red. The same fuzzy glitter center. So really happy about those. And then I noticed that she had little charms in her shop. Off the top of my head, I don't remember how many, but she had these two, which were just so perfect, so I'm going to zoom in. So here we have these two teensy-weensy little charms that I'm going to put on my traveler's notebook. We have this really beautiful pink swirly candy cane lollipop with a bow. It's pastel pink and gold, as you can tell. And then we've got this red bow. Um, it's like an enamel bow with a little faux pearl 
on the bottom. So these are super dainty and super delicate, but I think that they're going to look so pretty on the band of my traveler's notebook or on my spine, again, for the holidays. And my favorite sort of uh, color scheme for the holidays is definitely bright red, but I love to tie in pastel pink and gold. So these are going right on that holiday planner. And again, I think that these were quite affordable, especially to what I've seen other shops charge for them. So super pretty. And lastly, Amalia was so kind that she actually included two extra clips for me. So we've got another red striped bow with the glittery center that matches my other ones. And then this really pretty all gold one. And this is all in that really pretty soft sort of glitter. So it's super super adorable really happy to have all of these she also sent me a note with a really really generous 15 percent off coupon code for you guys to use if you'd like to shop in her shop i really recommend it again her prices are already so affordable and if you can stack an extra 15 percent off on top of that i'd recommend it and uh, i believe she also sells bows for babies and i think that's where the shop name comes from so she also has hair accessories for your little girls and boys so uh definitely stop by she has a lot of stuff to offer so thank you amalia the next two or so items are going to be a little bit more on the random side i picked these up uh, individually and I think that you'd still like to see them, so I'm going to share them with you guys. So first I picked up some of these clear adhesive pockets from the shop Lauren Phelps Designs. So Lauren Phelps Designs is actually um, a shop that I think mainly specializes in like planner covers and uh, traveler's notebook covers, and I believe she's like a graphic artist. Uh, so she has some really gorgeous stuff. I actually picked up a planner cover from her during one of the last PBC sales, like one of the last Planner Boss Collective sales. Uh, so I already was familiar with her shop, but I am obsessed with these clear adhesive pockets for my traveler's notebooks because I love the look of just stuffing a bunch of stuff inside of here. And since it's clear, you can see all of the layers and all of the dimensions. So I th I'm part of a few traveler's notebook uh, pages on Facebook. And I think I was just scrolling through my timeline and I saw somebody asking about where to find adhesive pockets and somebody else responding that Lauren Phelps Designs had them. So I can confirm that she does and they are really quite affordable and she has them in some different sizes. Now, I think I got confused a little bit in terms of my length versus my width, so I ended up with these, with five of these pockets here, which uh, are about four by six, I think, and they, if I have them this way, they are side loading, and I think this is the way that they'll fit best into my B6 Traveler's Notebook. If I put them this way, they're more of a six by four, I think, and they're top loading, but this is a little too long for my Traveler's Notebook. This, however, would be really great if you want to put it inside of a binder or your Erin Condren to hold some extra stickers. And they are, they are super affordable. I've seen them go for a lot of different prices, including pretty expensive from people like the Foxy Fix and um, some other shops like Planner Press. Hers are really affordable. I got a pack of five for just a few dollars, but I will say that they are not the same quality. It's like a little bit thinner. Like it's, it's quite a bit thinner, the plastic. I definitely don't foresee there being any issues with that on my part uh, because I'm not too rough with my stuff, especially in my traveler's notebooks, but that's something to consider if you're planning on buying them. And these are also adhesive. I haven't used them yet, so I can't speak to how the adhesive works, but yeah, super affordable. You get a few in a pack. You can get like up to 10 for a few dollars. And I know that she has some other sizes as well. And then when you place your order, and this is the same thing that um, I received when I placed my order for my cover a few months ago. I got this pretty postcard that you could use as a traveler's notebook, which as you saw before has all of her information. And then also a limited edition fabric clip as it says here. And I did get this last time too. So um, I got a different one for the late summer and spring but this one's really pretty for fall it's like all kind of looks like a cornucopia scene in the background so this is really really cute and you could obviously save this and make like a journaling card or even an art print as she suggests on the back so wanted to share that for you guys who uh, also have a really um, interesting obsession with uh, little adhesive pockets like me
And the next item is actually this little package of monogram stickers that I picked up at Michael's. From their sort of dollar section, I found a section that was items from one to three dollars, and I think that this was just one dollar. This is by the Recollections brand, and it is called Crafted Removable Monogram Stickers. And I saw the letter K from a distance, so I had to grab it. And as you can see, these are gold foiled monogram stickers and according to the package they are removable so I got four in a pack for a dollar or two maybe a dollar fifty I don't recall uh, and I just figured that this would be really great for gift giving decorating packages as you can see the packaging here has it on a gift box they say that they're removable so hopefully they are and of course I did grab these to put in my traveler's notebook because I love sticking the letter K on everything for my name. Uh, so I grabbed these again. I think that if you find them, this would be great for your own planner or also for decorating gifts, especially around the holidays. So super cute. And if they're removable, that's awesome because you don't have to worry about never being able to use them again. So again, these are from Michaels. Now I have just a few more items to share with you guys before I jump into the bulk of the haul, which will be my more traditional um, planner stickers that I share with you guys. So here I have some gifts that were given to me by my friends, and these are personal friends of mine that I've made through the planning community, which I'm really grateful for. So I've got a few things here that I thought that you guys would also like to see because they are definitely relevant to planning and crafting the way that we do. So I'm going to jump right in and do it super quickly. So the first item that I've got to share with you here is part of this little little section of my haul is this really awesome set of Slytherin magnetic bookmarks from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. My friend Viv, or Viv Loves to Plan, I'm sure you guys um, have heard me talk about her so many times, was in Florida a few weeks ago and she grabbed these for me and I'm so grateful. I love these. If you guys didn't know, I am a big Harry Potter fan. I don't talk about it too much because it's just something that I've always Always enjoyed for myself in that way and I know that the planner community embraces it so much I just haven't made it over into that side of things just yet it's more so me as a little girl loving it inside and I am in Slytherin house I always have been always known it I suppose my my rising would be Ravenclaw if you asked uh, but she grabbed these really beautiful magnetic bookmarks that say Slytherin on them and I believe she also grabbed some for our friend Jasenia as uh, she's a Gryffindor Vivian is a Hufflepuff I'm Slytherin and then our friend Holly is a Ravenclaw so the four of us make up all four houses which is awesome and I mentioned that I don't really have anything planner Harry Potter so I've got to start and this is definitely going to set me in the right direction because we we definitely have to do a Harry Potter collab with each of our houses super soon so I'm really excited to start buying some more Harry Potter stuff but obviously this will work in my planner but also just for reading so really happy about these thank you so much Viv these next few items were so so kindly gifted to me by my friend Huli or plan with Huli or Huli Ross I don't remember which one's her YouTube and which one's her Instagram but her name is Huli and she lives in Israel and she gifted me the most beautiful assortment of little treasures for my birthday as a blade. But she gifted me the most beautiful assortment of thoughtful little treasures for a belated birthday gift. So I am so grateful. And as part of the package, she included a lot of things that I felt um, you guys would also like to see from different shops and different places to buy online. So I definitely wanted to share them with you. So I'm just going to go through these items and hopefully you can find something here that you'd like as well. So first, Huli sent me three items from Erin Condren, and you guys obviously know that I love Erin Condren from her blankets. I've got two to her planners. I've had probably over ten to her pajamas. I've got two different sets. I really, really love Erin Condren and her brand. So she sent me some items that I actually don't have, which I'm super grateful for. So first we have this Snap-in dashboard, and this is a dashboard that you can obviously snap into your planner, and I know a lot of people use this for pre-planning or menu planning or just extra to-do list writing. I don't want to take it out of its packaging right now, but it's just, I'll zoom out, it's just a snap-in 
sort of extra lined dashboard that you can use for a ton of different stuff as you can see I think the other side has a weekly section and you can do like your meal planning like it has here I know that my friend Jessica does her whole week on these or used to at least so these are really cool and they are laminated so to go along with them, a lot of people use these awesome wet erase markers. They're dry erase markers. Well, I guess they're wet erase markers. So you use something like a damp cloth to wipe them off. And we've got four different colors, magenta, orchid, teal, and black. And obviously, as you can see, the picture does have them being used on the Snap-in dashboard. So that's super exciting. I actually think I'm going to take these to work, though, because I do have a dry erase sort of calendar and board where I keep track of my work tasks, and I do like to color code it. So this is just an addition to all of the really awesome stationery that I have at my job that people are super jealous of. And then we have these mini snap and bookmarks. These are almost like tiny versions of this dashboard. You snap them in and you can use them just as they say to mark your pages, uh, to make different sections. I've also seen people use these to rip washi as well. So really happy to have all of these. Next we have, as part of her little package, a Le Pen pen, and this is a fine tip sort of black uh, marker pen. I know a lot of people love to use these in their planners, uh, especially on glossy paper. They write really beautifully. They come in a ton of colors. You can also get them at Michael's, and they just write really gorgeously. Um, they're just like a fine tip marker, so I remember getting these in college a lot because I really enjoyed writing with them and color coding with them, so I'm happy to have another. This is also really good for writing on gift labels during the holidays. And then next, Huli sent me a few different stickers, which I'm super excited about. She sent me some of my favorites as well as some from shops that I've never tried. So I'm just going to go through them. First, we have the Drama Queen sheet of munchkins from Once More With Love. This is one of my favorite sheets ever. I already have it, and it is just a super dramatic munchkin with a princess crown. And this is how I feel all the time if I'm too tired, if I'm cranky, if I'm hungry, if something breaks, if the commute takes too long. I simply cannot. So this is my favorite, favorite munchkin sheet, I'm sure. And I'm so happy to have had another. That's how you know somebody that really, really knows you. Then she also sent along the Once More With Love credit card sheet. I am victim of owning a credit card and, you know, having to pay it off. So this will definitely go into good use. And then she sent two sheets here from a shop that I've never tried, which is Planner Monkey Co. We have this little freebie that was included and obviously the little... Uh, mascot is a monkey so we've got a monkey oh god harley quinn over a traveler's notebook a pumpkin spice latte in the planner girl mug so that's really cute and then we have these little planner monkeys in coffee cups kind of just swimming in them so really cute for when you have a long day and then she sent over a few sheets from Peel Pandemonium. I have had stickers from Peel Pandemonium, and she has a very beautiful premium matte paper. So here we have this little freebie with a full box, and I guess she's come out with a little character, which seems to be a little panda. So we've got panda with washi, a planner, and hard eyes. Then she also sent along the work stickers, which are great because I love marking my work schedule in my planner. So again, she really knows me. And then lastly, we've got these little pandas on their computer. So super cute and really great. I love that you get so many different sizes. And then lastly, as far as stickers are concerned, she sent actually a full kit, I think, from Fox and Cactus. And I know that this has become a really popular shop recently, especially with her little character stickers all the way from Australia, I believe. And I've never tried her stickers. I have a I have like a sampler that I got from somewhere once, but I haven't really used them. And the paper is beautiful. It's also on a premium mat. And this is just a sort of general marble kit that you could use year round. And I think this would really look good with those pen gems, uh, Dolce Vita pens. So we've got some half boxes on this sheet here. Then some checklists and flags and washi. Then these super minimalistic full boxes. Uh, this one says, I never look back, darling. And then this one says, it distracts from the now. We've got headers, some little things. 
and then we've got some heart checklists with the marble background and then lastly the bottom washi a movie marquee a weekend banner and some other functional stickers so this is really cute and perfect if you are more on the minimalistic side of planning and then the last items that Huli sent along, and probably my favorite, are these super, super adorable little traveler's notebook charms from a shop that I've never heard of before called Cherry Blossom Pink. And she sent along these two tiny and delicate charms, which are both little crowns with pearls, and they are so teeny tiny and so delicate and beautiful and so sweet because obviously, you know, my whole thing is paper princess and crowns and stuff like that. So these are definitely going to go on my traveler's notebook. And they're part of this new obsession that I have with these little charms. They're so tiny and beautiful. And I think I'm going to be collecting a lot of them going forward. So thank you, Huli. Everything is gorgeous. And I am so grateful to um, have made a friend in you. So thank you so much. Okay, congratulations, you guys. You have made it through the first part of this haul, which was all of the accessories and sort of random stuff that I've picked up from my planner recently. And now we can get into my favorite part, and I think probably your favorite part too, which is all of the stickers. And I've got some really gorgeous items for the holidays and also just some general ones that I think you're going to love. So I am super excited. So first I have the first holiday kit that I picked up for this season and it is the Christmas Rose Kit by Honeydew Paper. I've featured Honeydew Paper in a few of my recent hauls because I really really love the style of her kits. That includes the setup, the way that she formats them, the way that she uses art, all of those things. And her premium matte paper is just so gorgeous. So like I mentioned this is the Christmas Rose Kit. And Joy was so kind and she said that she sent me one of her new foiled uh, samplers. I believe she's starting to dabble in foiled stickers as well. So this sampler has some me time, date night paint nails, sleep in, yoga class, and cardio. So these will go to good use with the gold foil. Really pretty. And then we have another uh, sampler here which is just a uh, sort of health and fitness focus. So push yourself, hydrate, some sneakers and a workout bra and then weight training. Super cute. Okay, so like I mentioned, the kit that I got from Honeydew Paper is called Christmas Rose and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's on her premium matte paper, which is beautiful. What I really loved about this kit was the artwork and the way that she used it. A few people were using this bloomsicle artwork with this reindeer sort of girl and the peppermint dress, but I was not loving everybody's rendition of it. Some of them were very dark with greens and teals, which are not my favorites, but I love the way that Joy pulled in these beautiful florals and a lot of pinks along with the reds and greens. So we've got nine boxes here, as well as a Merry Christmas box, and then these sweet deer are just so, so cute. Then on the second page, we have the full box checklists, which have um, little snowflakes in them with the pattern in the background, and I love that all of the tops have the floral print, which is beautiful. Then here we have the headers and little bits sheet. This has all of your headers and then your little things. And again, I love the colors, how she incorporates pinks with the traditional reds and greens. My favorite way to do the holidays. Then we have the functional sheet here. We've got the beautiful weekly box with the pattern in the background. We've got checklists, icons, flags and teardrops, the weekend banner, some bill dues and some habit trackers. Then we have this half boxes sort of functional sheet. You get your traditional half boxes and I love that one with the little deer, quarter boxes, scallops, labels, and then these squared off half boxes that have like lines in them so you can make lists or something like that. And I love that the tops of them are printed as well, each of the sheets, so you can even cut this down to make some extra flags or headers. And then on this sheet we have the bottom washi. This is all one strip. If I could peel it up, here we go. It's all one strip and it has that layered sort of effect for you. And then you have some cut washi. And then we have this last sheet here, which is called Dates and Deco. So we do have date covers, date dots, little mini flags, all of these functional stickers. And then we have just a touch of deco down here. So love the movie marquee, the little banner, the planner, the coffee, the spray bottle, all really adorable things. So as I have been for the last few times that I've purchased, I really, really love Honeydew Paper, and I suggest that you check out her shop and also her monthly kits. Her monthly kits are another huge favorite of mine. 
this next order is from one of my favorite people on YouTube and in the planner world, and that's Jenna of Planning Roses. I've been watching her planner videos for as long as I can remember since I first started, and I've been following her on Instagram since before she even started making stickers, but for the past two or so years she has been making stickers, and one of my favorite stickers from her shop is her meeting stickers. So I picked up a few more sheets of these. She has some really, really awesome multicolor stickers, including these, work stickers, and then a lot of workout stickers, which are really beautiful. So I love her color selection. I picked up one of these sheets sometime last year when I first started working full time, and I have finally gone through them, and I decided to pick up three because they were quite affordable, and I get them on glossy. Uh, and I picked these up just because at my current position, we have different sorts of meetings quite often. And these are just so cute. I love the font that she uses. Everything is so adorable. So I love using these to mark my meetings. Grab three sheets of those. And again, the color range is fabulous. And Jenna was so kind. And she actually included a kit for me to share with you guys. So really excited about this. I do have a coupon code for planting roses. Or I had one in the past. I don't know if it's still active. But you can can send Jenna a message and let her know um, but if not she has a Facebook group that you can join and I'm sure you can get some really great deals in there so this kit is called crisp morning and it's on her glossy paper she often does some really unique and beautiful kits that I don't see elsewhere and I don't know if this kit is still available just because her shop format is generally to do pre-orders and then produce the kits and send them all out to everybody so I don't know if this is still available maybe it still is if she has some extra so again this is called crisp morning and this can be used year-round it's very fashion forward and dark but still very glam so we've got Prada perfumes and the girl holding her Chanel bag a leather jacket a lipstick and then some quarter boxes along the bottom then here we have headers and then heart checklists and flags, icons, and some more quarter boxes down there. This sheet has half boxes and I love the style of them that they're square. We have the weekend banner which is so cute with the uh, perfume. Some of her functional stickers that again I like to buy. So I have her bath night stickers and then bill dues and paydays as well I believe. Laundry time I have her laundry stickers too. You get a coffee cup date night, new releases, and plan with me Monday because she has always uploaded her planning videos on Mondays, which is really cute. Then we have the checklist stickers. These are just done with like squares. And then we have some, they look more like third boxes than quarter boxes down here. Then we have little things as well as a weekly habit tracker and a this week sticker, which I really like. And then we have a plain checklist for your sidebar, weekly habits with multiple in them for your sidebar, and then a weekly box. And I love that she includes planting roses as a little thing, and then also flights, which is great. Then she also included some extras, so we have a whole sheet of deco here. This deco is so pretty, so you can even use it functionally for any time that you have to get glam or go shopping or something like that. Then we have this mini sheet with the date covers that match the kit and the date dots. And then lastly, we have the coordinating glitter headers, which are super, super pretty. So thanks so much, Jenna. I love this kit. And again, I think that it's so pretty that you could use it year round. So that is the crisp morning collection from Planning Roses. Next, I've got some really beautiful stickers from one of my very favorite shops in general, but especially for foiled items. And that is Rose Colored Days. She makes my favorite date covers that I use just about every week and then beautiful foiled headers, and foil is her thing. That's what she specializes in, and she offers it in tons of different colors. So if you love foil, check out Lauren's shop. So I reached out to Lauren because I noticed that she had made some holiday uh, date covers, and again, these are my favorites. Uh, I noticed that she made some holiday ones, but I was looking for some that were a really true red, like this red that I keep alluding to and talking about in this haul. So uh, I asked if she could make me a custom order of that red that I was looking for, and she totally delivered and actually even sent me some extra stuff that I'm so happy to share with you guys. But first, I did pick up four sheets of these uh, double dates, which are my favorites. It has the, uh, the print date and then the script date and foil over it. They are beautiful, so gorgeous, and I got them all in my red. So I've got 
enough for the holidays and beyond. So I've got two sheets of the gold foil and then a sheet of the rose gold foil and then a sheet of the silver, which I'm so happy about. So you guys will see this all through the month of December and beyond that. And then I also picked up some countdowns to Christmas. I don't like to count down to everything, but Christmas is my favorite time of year, so I did get countdowns for these, and I picked them up in both gold and silver, uh, just because I don't like to not have things match. <laughs> And I'll usually either go down a gold route or a frosty silver route for the holidays. So I grab these. Rose gold is not something that I do very much during the holiday season. I don't think most people do. That's more so for fall from what I've noticed. So I just grab these two, but she has them in tons of colors. I love the fonts. And they start with the first day of December. And then we've got Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So super, super cute. And then like I mentioned, Lauren was so kind and she threw in a ton of extras. So so awesome we've got these confetti date covers which are so pretty we've got silver a gold rose gold and then like a hot gold confetti background on date covers i love this font too i haven't seen it in her shop before but i think that it's so pretty and these will be great for winter and also for new years how awesome are these for new years so really happy to have these and then we have these sparkle ones. So these are done with rose gold foil and they are the double dates again. And they have, uh, instead of the print uh, date being a solid color, they're a soft glitter. So we've got like a tan, a silver, a more traditional gold, and then a rose gold with a rose gold foiled date. So again, super pretty for winter and also for fall these. And then she included some of her headers, and she also makes super beautiful headers in her shop, which are so gorgeous. And then we've got some freebies. So I'll show you the freebies first. She sent these over in red foil, which is awesome for the holidays. I can't wait to use these. So this is just her regular freebie, I believe. You've got an asterisk, a shopping cart, a heart, gas two day off stickers, which I will definitely use, a to-do sticker, and then a this week sticker in the red foil. So super handy for the holidays. And then this is Nikki Marie C. Plans. I think she's just Nikki Plans now, or Nikki Marie Plans now. She's been her, she's been Lauren's PR girl for the past month, and I think she's going to be it for the next two months. And she designed this sampler herself. I think she even drew the bows and the hearts, which Lauren then turned into stickers. So we've got some flags, some bows, some of these little swishes that I know Nikki uses a lot then some script words, and then all of these little meal icons. I need more of these meals. I think I think I need to grab some more of those because I love marking meals without making them too, I don't know, comic-y. So these are a really cute way to mark a special meal. So again in red, so I'm super happy about that. And again, like I mentioned, Lauren sent over a bunch of headers, and I cannot wait to use these for the holidays. So we've got the gold, which you guys have seen me use plenty of times. I've used the gold and rose gold from her shop a few times. Then we've got this beautiful plaid with a subtle foil just in the stripes there. And this is a red, so gorgeous for the holidays. Then we have this beautiful red foil, and this is like a sparkly red, or more of like a... I don't know, I don't know, it's like a textured red glitter, not just solid red. So pretty for the holidays. Then we have this one, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a holographic shattered mirrored one. Not something that I'd usually pick up, but I think this would be fun for the new year or for winter or just for like a super simple spread that you want to spice up. And then we have this one, which is another one of her holiday headers. And this is done with a floral print, which I'm a big fan of. I think it's beautiful. And then it's foiled as well, so I think that makes it extra special. I actually thought that these headers would pair really, really nicely with this kit here. Oh, it looks like it might be the same clip art. Awesome. With this kit here from um, Honeydew Paper, if I have any extras or just some functional stickers, spice it up with some of these headers. And as you can see, it looks like the same artwork just based on these boxes here. So I'm smart. I knew it. 
So I can't wait to put those together for the holidays. So that is everything from Rose Colored Days. Check out my description for a coupon. I've got a really generous one. She has amazing sales when she does run them. So join her Facebook group. And then she has a few PR girls as well, not just Nikki, I think. And they all have super generous codes as well. So not only is it pretty affordably priced, but you also can save a lot of money. So thank you so much, Lauren. I love Rose Colored Days. Next, I have some of these really cute little journey stickers from Her Blissful Journey. And this shop is run by my friend Amy. And Amy is a local planner girl. And when I say local, I really mean local. Like, she lives just a few blocks away from me. So she is so kind. And she drives, and so do I. But I get nervous when I drive places that I don't know. And Amy drives me to the planner events. And she's the kindest and the sweetest um, and a really great driver. So she has an Etsy shop called Her Blissful journey where she sells a variety of different stickers and kits of different sizes that are really pretty and on premium matte paper but uh, she gave me some of these really gorgeous stickers so Amy is also a trained baker and she bakes on the side as well really beautiful things and her shop mascot is this little cupcake and the cupcake is called journey and I think that's also her pet's name too so very very cute uh, so I grabbed just a few here that I thought would be really cute specifically because they're cupcakes I think that they're adorable so first we have these little um, journey cupcakes playing in the snow so she's got a scarf and um, little boots and gloves and she's holding snow so I think that these will be really really cute to use when the weather gets really frosty outside and I love that journey is white so it's easy to pair with everything and I think she lends herself really well to being in the snow then we have this journey here which is like a planner she has her planner in her hand and her pen so super duper cute and again if I didn't mention the paper is premium matte and really gorgeous quality so super pretty and these two are probably my favorite along with the snow one. It's Journey doing things like cooking. So we've got uh, cooking with like a spatula and an apron on. And then also Journey baking with a little bowl with a whisk and stuff like that. So I think that these are extra appropriate for Journey since she's a cupcake. And I think it's really cute to use a cupcake to mark cooking things. So really adorable. Um, and I really love them and I can't wait to use them. So those are all from her blissful journey. She has a ton of other activities as well. Please stop by her shop because she is a real, real sweetheart. And she's my neighbor, so I can vouch for her personally. So that is all from her blissful journey. My next set of stickers to share with you guys is from a favorite shop of mine, as they all are. I always say that, but... I really love stickers and I love what I get. Uh, so uh, I picked up an order from Caress Press and I've got two kits here and they're really beautiful for the holidays. I did first want to share with you guys a little freebie that I've got. It's super Thanksgiving themed and it's actually a perfect match with the same artwork from the Thanksgiving kit that I used last year which was actually from Caress Press. So it's Thanksgiving this week so it's kind of nostalgic to see these but I'm sure that I can still put them to good use. So like I mentioned, I picked up two different holiday kits from Caress Press, and I'm really happy with them. I don't know if um, Maggie has been doing like her own artwork, or if she's been just finding some really unique artwork, but her kits have been featuring art and patterns that I'm not really seeing anywhere else, so I think that that's really, really cool. This first kit that I grabbed here is called Candy Cane Lane, and I think I got the ultimate kits, or like the full kits, or maybe not. Maybe I didn't. Okay, I guess I didn't. Um, I'm not even sure. I don't even remember. So this is Candy Cane Lane. I do think that I got the mini kit, actually. And this is just a peppermint and fun kit that's super duper cute. So I'm going to show you the actual kit first, then share with you the extras. So... So Caress Press just has the most gorgeous quality. Historically, her stickers have been on this beautiful, smooth, um, matte vinyl paper, but she's also started making more traditional glossy. But since I've been using Caress Press for like the past two years, I've always used her matte vinyl, and I think that's what I'm going to stick with just for the sake of staying true to my Caress Press experience. Um, and I love the matte vinyl. I think that it's beautiful and vibrant. So... This is what the first page of the kit looks like. We've got all of these icons and all of these functional stickers. Me time, movie night, laundry day, happy mail, family time, girls night, payday, as well as really cute things like a coffee cup, an Instagram icon, and a laptop, and a little planner. 
Then we have all of the checklists, and I think the reason that I grabbed the mini kit was because I really like these checklists, and I thought that I could do without the full checklist because of them. These all have different patterns that match the kit, which I think are super cute, and these are the little details that really make me want to buy a kit because it's different. We've got a beautiful Peppermint Weekend banner, and then our page flags. Then this second sheet here is the full boxes, and they're so cute, and we've got a baby doll, which I love. So the quote box says candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. We've got this, we've got two double boxes actually, um, or double scenes sort of. This one is a Keurig with a uh, Santa's Workshop coffee, peppermint bark coffee, I guess, like the K-Pods, which are so cute. If coffee really looked this cute, maybe I'd drink it. We've got some ornaments and sugar cookies and the dog. And then this second scene is of a house with like cupcakes on the front. I don't know if it's a gingerbread house or a real house, but super, super pretty. And I love the quote box. These colors are so fun. I really love the pepperminty sort of thing as well for the holidays and for winter. Then we have the functional sheet with which has quarter boxes and half boxes, scallops, some headers, and some sidebar stickers. And this is how I knew it was a mini kit because this sheet is formatted a little bit differently for the mini kit. You get your one ombre heart checklist and then your one weekly box, one habit tracker, and then a few less quarter boxes and half boxes. But this is perfect for me for sure. And then the last sheet is the bottom washi with washi strips and a good amount of little deco and I love that she includes this because sometimes mini kits don't have deco and I really like deco even if it's just a tiny bit for the top so this is really really cute we've got the dog and the cupcake and the Keurig and stuff and a girl so that's the mini kit and then I picked up some extras we have I actually don't know if I picked this up or if it came with it or if Maggie sent it. So we've got the little things which you can use as you would other little things or as little labels. Then we also have the glitter headers and I'm pretty sure I picked up the glitter headers because I really wanted them with this kit. I think that they're really pretty and obviously the theme of this kit just lends itself so well to glitter. And then I believe the mini kit also came with these full boxes. So you get three options here in different skin tones and it's this really cute it's a little bit taller than a regular box scene of a girl holding a snowman with a dog. Now the only thing is that if you look at it in terms of like perspective, that's a really big dog. <laughs> so that's the only funny thing, but I think that this is just all supposed to be whimsical and stuff like that. So really adorable. Love the Candy Cane Lane kit from Caress Press. And then next we have the second kit that I picked up from Caress Press, and this is called Gift Wrap. And this is both perfect for me and also a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of kits. So I picked up the same format, I believe. Yeah, so this is a mini kit as well with the extras. And the reason that this is a little bit out of my comfort zone is because these aren't colors that I traditionally go for during the holidays. Specifically, this sort of olivey green, um, or the greens particularly. So they're a little bit different for me. I think that they're really pretty, and I'm positive that when I put this all together, it's going to be a unique kit experience that I love. But the reason that I really, really, really wanted to grab it is because of the artwork. So like the last kit, I'll put the extras aside and show them to you at the end. And here we have the functional sheet, similar to the last one with the same setup. These checklists are solid though. And my thing with this kit is the full boxes. I've said this a few times. I'm going to zoom in so you can see them in really nice detail. Wrapping is my thing during the holidays. I love to decorate. I do all the decorating too. I love to dress up. I love to do all of these things. But wrapping is my, that is my thing, you know? I wrap all of the presents in my house. I always have, except for my own, sometimes even my own. And I am very particular with my wrapping. I like to do a beautiful job of it. Um, it's, it's my thing. In the past, I've even gone so far to wrap for charity, half because I obviously want to help out charity, but half because I really just enjoy wrapping gifts and I wanted more to wrap. So I'm psycho in that way. And this kit is so cute with the scissors and the wrapping paper and the gifts and the bows and the ribbon. You've also got some other things like makeup and stockings and slippers, but for the most part, 
This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just love the theme behind it so much. And the quote box says, Tis the season to be jolly, which is really sweet. Here we have the quarter boxes and half boxes functional sheet like the last kit. And then here we have the bottom washi with the deco. And again, we've got the tape and the ribbon and the wrapping paper and the scissors, the little presents. Oh, it's just so precious. I love this so much. I love the theme so much. The colors might take a little bit of getting used to. But here we have the little things again. And then the glitter headers. I do just love the texture of her glitter as well. And then this is what the extra sheet looks like for this kit. The full boxes are regular size because instead of three, you get four. So we've got three different skin tone options. This is the one that I'll probably use. She's in a onesie with her slippers and she is wrapping a gift. So that is... That is me. I could not say no. I have my Christmas onesies and my pajamas and I have reindeer slippers that my mom got. So that's me. And then I love these. These are so cute. They are actually like little mini boxes, like third boxes almost that say different things. So we've got Merry Christmas, another one that says open presents. And then the last one that says Christmas Eve. So I don't know if I'll put these to good use. Hopefully I do. I just generally tend to prefer more traditional kits for like Christmas week. But um, I'm sure that I'll use these in some capacity. And I'm definitely using this kit. So I love this. Again, this is gift wrap from Caress Press. The other was Candy Cane Lane. And that's all that I grabbed this time around. The next two kits that I have to share with you guys I'm extra excited about because they are from one of my favorite people in the planner world and a friend of mine, Charmaine. Now, if you guys watch beauty videos or planning videos, I'm sure that you know who Charmaine is. She's actually a beauty and lifestyle YouTuber and has been for a few years. She's really popular and over the past few years she's also ventured into planning now. Uh, Charmaine holds a special place in my heart because she's actually who I learned about planning from. She was the first person to introduce me to planning and in a way that got me into this world. I watched her beauty videos and I loved them and I think in one of her videos randomly she shared a Lilac Kiki K, the A5 one back from like three, maybe three years ago at this point, maybe like two and a half um, and I remember ordering it sitting in the back of the car going to um, ice skating because it was in the winter time and I just loved it so so much and since that planner and her video it's just been a downward spiral into what I have going on right now in videos like this so Charmaine actually makes stickers herself and she has for a little while now and she sent me two beautiful one holiday, one sort of general wintery kit to share with you guys. I've got a few different coupon codes to share with you guys, so I'm going to list them all down below. I've got a 20% off that you guys can use um, toward till the end of the year uh, over a purchase of $25. Then we also have some exclusive Black Friday deals, which you can use on Black Friday and then Cyber Monday, which are like 40% off and 50% off respectively. So I will list all of those in the description, so be sure to check them out. And uh, Charmaine has a really unique perspective to her planning style and also to her kits because she's actually a trained graphic designer, graphic artist, so she is very, very talented and she makes beautiful items. And I also, we have the same birthday and we have met in person before and we've hung out, so it's just a lot of really awesome stuff going on. Now this first kit here, I don't know if these kits have names, but this is a beautiful holiday kit. And again, her kit setup is really unique, but I think you'll love it. Um, so here we have a few different full boxes and quote boxes, which I think are beautiful, with a full gold glitter, be merry and bright, tis the season to be jolly, I love you to the North Pole and back, that is the cutest thing ever, and then believe in the magic of Christmas, I love the different fonts and the glitter, and then we've just got some soft and delicate holiday boxes with the tree and the stocking and ornaments and stuff like that. Then we have this whole sheet of deco. Uh, these are really pretty with the stocking and the candy canes and the ornaments and the trees and this beautiful wreath that says, baby, it's cold outside. Then we have these beautiful headers and little things. And again, super unique with the soft font and the soft colors. And these are done like little watercolor brush strokes. So you get a pretty full set and then all of your littles and then some extra plain ones as well. This sheet has some really beautiful date covers, bill dues, habit trackers, a weekend banner. 
these little circles. This one says do and priority. And then these little word stickers. Payday, bill, do, plan, reminder, appointment, chores, clean, meals, groceries, meals, meeting, and mail. And lastly, we have this sheet which has some little scallop checklists, these smaller cut strips of washi, some half boxes and quarter boxes, and then this last sheet has a sort of sidebar sticker that has lines for writing, some ombre boxes, and some icons. So a really unique kit setup, perfect if you guys do white space planning or more minimal planning, but so pretty for the holidays. Then we have this beautiful winter to spring kit I like to think of it in that way and I also, I also think this would be really beautiful for Easter. So this kit has a similar setup. The quote boxes say cuddle weather, grateful, thankful, blessed, spread love and warm wishes and then some beautiful little animals like the bunnies and the birds. Here we have all of the gorgeous deco with the little animals and the moons and the stars and the beautiful flowers. Then we have the headers and little things and these beautiful colors again. The functional sheet with the date covers, build you stickers, the weekend banner, and the habit trackers. This sheet with the washi, and I love the colors here as well, and the little washi strips with the moons. And then again, the same as the last page, this line sort of sidebar sticker heart checklist and icon. So again, that's all from Love Charmaine. Her website is lovecharmaine.com slash shop and I'll link all the different options that you have for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and then my coupon down below. So definitely be sure to check out her shop. Next I have a bit of a different purchase from one of my very favorite shops of all time that you guys see me use in my Plan With Me videos every single week pretty much without fail. Now I know that myself and my other planner friends and planner people out there have epitomized uh, Amanda's bows and flags and hearts uh, since the beginning of time. Her foiled stickers are absolutely beautiful and my favorites, again, I use them just about every week, at least multiple colors. I have a really big collection, but um, what you might not know is that Amanda also makes really, really beautiful full kits in her shop as well. So I saw this kit in her shop. It is called Woodland Noel, and I really wanted to grab it for the holidays because it is this absolutely gorgeous, rustic holiday kit that I think is so beautiful. So I am going to share that with you guys now. Like I mentioned, this kit is called Woodland Noel. I'm going to zoom out just a tiny bit. And I actually picked this up on her premium matte paper. I don't think premium matte is an option for her foiled stickers, so since that's what I usually buy, I don't think I've ever bought premium matte from her shop before, so I decided to try it for these stickers and absolutely no disappointment. This is beautiful. This is just such a gorgeous sort of rustic country Christmas. And this December, I'm actually going to be visiting uh, South Carolina for a few days with my boyfriend. He is going to something for himself personally, and I'll be tagging along and taking a few days off. Uh, over the past few weeks, I finally finish my probation at my job. It takes an extra long time where I work, I guess, so I can finally use vacation days. So I'm excited to take some days off next month, and I don't plan on doing anything too festive or country in South Carolina, but it is South Carolina, and I'm from New York, so that's like... That's a very different experience for me, so I'm thinking of using this for that week because, I don't know, this is kind of what I imagine. I doubt this is what I'll do, but this is what I'm thinking of. So we have this beautiful quote box that says, All is calm, the holly berries, the beautiful trees, and the snow, and then the really pretty reindeer there. Here we have your little things, some half boxes, these really, really beautiful half boxes with the snowflakes on them and like the lacy print in the back, and these super cool quarter boxes, which are like wooden, which is, which is really, really cool. She has an incredible eye for detail. Wait until you see the day covers. Here we have all of her headers, uh, three weekly boxes for the sidebar, and then three habit trackers, as well as all of these uh, weekly header stickers that you could use. Here we have the beautiful bottom washi with the washi strips, solid and printed, and I love the forest snowy scene there. Then here we have the beautiful weekend banner and date covers. Her date covers are easily always the absolute best, and I've there have been multiple times where I've wanted to buy kits from her just because of the date. 
and I have to say that this kit here is like absolutely no exception. <laughs> I bought this not only for the date covers because I think the whole kit is beautiful, but this is this is really unique and I think it's so gorgeous. These are like little wooden plaques with the holly berries on them and the what is that called? The Christmas tree leaves. I'm blanking on them, but you guys know what I'm referring to. Um, with the wood, I think it's so pretty. How cute are these day off stickers? It's like little wooden signs. Some extra little skinny strips that you can use to layer over the bottom washi. I think that that'd be really pretty. And the gorgeous weekend banner. So this is just, oh, so pretty. Then we have this functional sticker. Here we have some deco. The deer, the trees, and then some that you can actually write in, which I think would be really pretty. These beautiful flags with this lace sort of effect. And then some printed ones. A lot of dots, which are super functional. And then these gorgeous snowflake checklists. Happy mail, take a break, date night, and planning time. And I love how she incorporates the theme of the kit there. And then some of these half circles for layering. Really, really pretty. Then lastly, you have all of your uh, snowflake checklists, which have that lacy pattern in the background again, which is so nice. And then the other four checklists for you. So that is the full Woodland Noel kit. I can't wait to use this. I think that this is such a traditional and rustic take on the holidays. And it doesn't have buffalo check. And I feel like everybody and their mom has been so into buffalo check this holiday season. Target especially. Everything is buffalo check or buffalo plaid, whatever you want to call it. But... I'm not the biggest fan of it. Maybe I'm not the biggest fan of it right now because I keep seeing it everywhere, but I like that this is country without having too much of that. So this is gorgeous. And Amanda was so kind that she included the matching uh, Woodland Noel color scheme foiled bows and flags. So I'll be using these throughout the entire holiday season, but get ready to see them, especially when they match so perfectly with the kit. So the colors on this are a deep sort of like a rusty red, a teal, an evergreen, and then this soft sort of minty puce color. That makes it sound super gross, but it's really pretty. And then the flags are in the same color scheme as well. So super gorgeous, and I can't wait to use these all together. So that is everything from Clever Gal Crafts. I also have a very generous coupon for Clever Gal Crafts down below. Always check the bottom bar to see what coupons I have because I usually have quite a few for the shops that I mention. I just sometimes forget to mention them and by sometimes I mean quite often. So always check because I'll always list them but I sometimes forget to mention them. Next I have the November Mystery Kit from the Glam Planner and I'm sorry for just sticking it in here like this but I'm going to show it in just a second so skip ahead a little bit if you don't want to see it because I do have some other things to include as well so sorry about that. But here I have the November Mystery Kit from the Glam Planner, and this is a really pretty kit that I'm excited to have. The little info box here says, Welcome to the November Mystery Kit. I've been dying to take a ski trip and rent a cozy cabin. I hope you enjoy the glitter headers and big box as extras this month. I ended up deciding to throw in Fashion Girls as a last-minute extra bonus. Happy holidays. I got the syntax down there, a little bit confused, but... I believe this is what Elle is referring to. So this is a monthly subscription that I get from her shop. And generally these are stickers that don't come to the shop and that you don't find other places either. So this was the November Mystery Kit. She said that she decided to throw in these couple fashion boxes in last minute. So we've got these couples, these straight couples, I guess kissing by a window of snow and they are very cozily dressed. I don't know if I'll be using these just because I'm in an interracial couple so I don't quite look like this but they're really pretty regardless and I'm glad that they're an extra because I don't have to use them. Then we have this big box of a house under what seems to be a bit of an avalanche. I don't know how healthy that is for the home, but it's in the mountains with the snow, so really pretty. And then we have the glitter headers, and Elle's glitter headers are always so gorgeous. And I love these colors. So here is the actual kit. And as you could tell, it is really pretty and frosty and very much cabin themed, like she said. I really like these full boxes. Um, we've got the moon. Uh, this quote box says, this cabin is my happy place on like a wooden board. 
This is a cat, I think, but it kind of looks like a fox, so I'm going to go for fox, and I quite like it. We've got this little scene of a hand taking a picture of some snow on some branches, the mug on the books and the blanket, the blanket and the basket, and then the couple in the hot tub, and I don't know if I'll use that either, but in case of anything, I do have the extra double box, so we will see. Then we have the full heart checklist, which are really pretty. I love, I really like these colors for the winter time especially, and I love the pattern in the background. These colors are super pretty, especially when you see them here. They're so soft. I love this light, light, light pinky beige. It's more beige than pink, but it's got a tinge of it, so I'm going to think it's pink. We've got half boxes, quarter boxes, bill due payday, your checklist, and then a flight tracker. Then we've got some really, really pretty deco with the uh, the kitty. I, I quite like this cat. This is like one of the only cats that I think I'll ever say that about. Ice skates and uh, socks and an ottoman and the stars are really nice. So I think this will be really pretty for sprinkling across the top of your page. Movie marquee, uh, labels, half, no, no half boxes, labels, habit trackers, and the weekend banner. Then this sheet has the icons, sidebar stickers, as well as date covers and date squares. Here we have the little things and the headers. And then lastly, we have the washi and washi strips. Another thing that I usually like is that when she does her washi, this whole strip goes together. So if I stack this up and I've done it before, I can create like an extra full box if I want to, especially if I want to replace something like the couple or something like that. So I can still make it work and I think that it'll be really pretty. I don't foresee myself going skiing. I've never been skiing, but I will say that when I got this in the mail, I immediately texted my boyfriend and I was like, let's go skiing. So maybe sometime next year I'll be doing this and I'll be using this kit, but even if I don't, I think that this will be really pretty in the winter time and I do see myself using it, so quite pleased with this kit. So that is my Glam Planner Mystery Kit for uh, November, not March, November. My next order is from a new to me shop that I've never shared with you guys here on YouTube that I'm really excited about. This shop is called Pink Leaf Prints and if you're not part of my Facebook group yet, I really suggest that you join. It's a really awesome planner place where we can talk about planners and stickers and all different sorts of things and give updates about my shop. And frequently what ends up happening is we have these long posts about like, what did you guys pick up for the holidays? Or what did you guys pick up for New Year's? And we just all share all of the different sorts of kits that we've picked up or accessories that we've picked up for a time of year. I love getting inspiration from those sorts of posts. And I also love... Um, just seeing what other people are getting. I think that it's super fun. So I don't know if I started the post or somebody else started the post, but we started a big holiday post because I was feeling a little underwhelmed and uninspired by some of the holiday kits that I was seeing. Clearly, I have since made up for that in this haul. But um, somebody, and I think it was Nicole, um, Nicole Orlacchio, um, who is a really awesome girl and YouTuber. I think she shared this kit, or at least she commented on it. So this kit, again, is from Pink Leaf Prints. Before I share it with you, I do want to show you the little freebie. So this is on Glossy, and this is a fall sort of freebie. I don't know if these are hand-drawn or hand-written. Perhaps they kind of look like that. But we have this really cute quote that says, It's fall, y'all. Some balloons and books and popcorn and coffee. And, of course, the shop is called Pink Leaf Print. So you collect the little leaves. And on this little card, it says, Collect 10 pink leaves and earn a free four-page weekly kit and a special sampler. So I guess, and this is a really cute thing, and I think it goes really well with her little shop logo or name. You can just put them on the little tree. And how cute is that? So you get one for every $10 spent. So that is a little... Um, reward system. It's really cute. And this is the kit that I picked up. I'm sorry I don't remember the name, but it is super cute and I really, really love the artwork and again the date cover. So first I'll show you the artwork. This was some artwork that again I had seen some other people use and it was not my favorite. Um, it features this really beautiful reindeer and uh, some ornaments and presents and stuff like that. 
but some people were doing it where like the face or the boxes were super zoomed into the reindeer and it was kind of I'll be honest and say it was kind of freaking me out but this I think is so pretty we have the quote which is so cute it says Christmas wishes and mistletoe kisses and I like the fonts and stuff like that we have one of the deer and it's like a nice length away from the face which is good We've got the candy canes and the ornaments, which I quite like. Milk for Santa with the cookies. I love the little gifts. And then we have this mantle scene. I quite like that it's only one box, so that it's not like a huge scene. I'm not too into fireplaces. Maybe it's because I don't have my own home yet, but that's where I am with them. And I love this uh, uh, scene of the girl holding the coffee with her red nails that kind of look like mine right now. Uh, she is in another kit that I picked up that you'll see in just a minute. So I love the full boxes the most with this kit, and I thought that they were really pretty. Then we have the heart checklist with a pattern dropped into the background. They're quite simple, kind of grayed out, and the hearts are red. Then we have the half boxes and some little things. Here we have TVs and meals, as well as work stickers. Uh, I really like the half boxes here with the grayed out pattern in them. Here we have the regular headers and then some triangle checklists. I love the font of the weekend banner, so I'll definitely be using that. And then some larger icons. Then here we have a functional sheet with some hydration trackers, bill dues, some extra sidebar headers, two movie marquees, which are quite cute, and then some extra functional stickers, so a planner arrows, flags, these little uh, half circles, and then this little quote here that says peace on earth, goodwill to men. So if that's your sort of thing, you can go ahead and use that too. Then we have the bottom washi, which I think is really pretty and not too busy. Um, I like the little sprinkle effect, and I think that this will look really nice layered with some of my bow washi, so I'm already thinking of that. We've got some cut washi strips and a tiny bit of deco. I really like the matching banner there. I think that that's really cute. And then lastly, we have the uh, date covers, which I think are so cute, you guys. They're on like a faux brick background, and the dates are these little ornaments. So you can just go ahead and pop on an ornament on top of your little date there, and it's so cute. That is, these little things really stand out to me, and I think really set shops apart. So this is Pink Leaf Prints. If I didn't mention, this is on Glossy, and it seems really nice. Happy to have this and happy to use this. I do know that she sent me another kit, and unfortunately, I don't know where I put it. <laughs> so this is what I have to share with you right now. But the shop owner, who I believe is Jamie, also sent me this really sweet little package of some um, clips, which is so cute. And this shop is called Threadheads Design. Uh, design your plan. So it's on, I believe it's on Etsy. If not, the website is threadheaddesigns.com. Planner accessories, monogram gifts, custom ordered items, and more. And I love this little bow. I'm definitely going to be saving it. It's like a mini Kate Spade bow. So at first, I thought that she also owned this shop, but the shop owner's name is Shay. And when I went onto the Pink Leaf Prints uh, Instagram, what I think I figured out is that the owner of this shop is not the owner of this shop, but she is on her PR team. So she has her own coupon code that you can use, and I guess because she's on her PR team, she had some extras that she sent along, which are really pretty, and I'll definitely be using them this holiday. So we've got this um, faux, it's like a faux leather, I think, sequined glittery bow, which is super pretty and so shiny. So definitely going to use this. I think it's gorgeous. And then we also have this little candy cane glitter felty, which is so cute, on a silver background and really nicely made on a gold clip. So really happy about these. So thank you, Jamie, if you're watching this. I really appreciate it. And if you're interested in these, you can check out Threadheads Design and go to her Instagram for a coupon. So it's a bit of a journey, but I think it's worth it if you can save some money. So that's all from Pink Leaf Prints. And then lastly, I am going to close out this haul with a pretty sizable order from one of my top, top, top shops ever, and that is Scribble Prints Co. You guys know that I love Scribble Prints Co. and that I love Andrea and Jessica and the whole team down there and Kirsten, everybody, everybody, everybody. 
So I kind of went overboard after not shopping for a little while and picked up three ultimate kits because I just love these kits so much and I couldn't just do mini kits, I needed the whole thing. So first with my order, I got some freebies. Now first of all, I know that Scribble Prints Co. sometimes gets a bit of a bad rep for having expensive stickers. Now if you buy the ultimate kits, um, you're paying about 30-ish dollars, but you get tons of stickers that will last you forever. And I've mentioned so many times, but every time that I need extras or I finish a kit, I cut down all of my extras and save them. So I use the stickers like for months and months and months. So I definitely think it's worth it. Um, but Andrea also has a coupon code in the description of her videos for about 15% off of $50, which is a pretty good amount. If you get like two full kits, you save about $7 or more, depending on how much you spend. So you really do save quite a few uh, bucks. So I think it's definitely worth it. So my order came with some extras. We've got this really cute journaling card with one of her little dinos. I think this is Sasha, but I might be making that up. With the most wonderful time of the year on the quote. That this quote and Mary and Bright are my favorite quotes for the holidays. Um, I can put them on everything. My Pinterest board for the holidays, because of course I have one, it's called the most wonderful time as um, a testament to my favorite quote. So there's that. And then as her little extras, she included these three little um, labels or gift labels to put on your gifts. So it says to and from, and they're on a different sort of material, like uh, gift labels that you'd get at Target. And they're really, really cute. And one of them has that little deer that I was talking about before. And we've got a shopping one and a gingerbread one. So those are cute little freebies that I can definitely see myself using during this time of year. So as I mentioned, I picked up three kits. So I am going to go through them just based on what's on top. First, I picked up the November Mystery Kit. And when I saw Andrea share this in her um, release video, I knew that I had to have it. This is one of those kits that is hand-drawn and designed by Jessica or J. Crew Plans, one of my favorite YouTubers and planner people and really good friends. Um, we, there's... You always have a good time when you're with Jessica. <laughs> so she is an incredible artist. And I remember when I learned that I was so taken aback. But um, this is actually like the second November mystery kit that I've gotten. I got her first one last year. And this one is so beautiful. So I believe Jessica's Jewish. Uh, she celebrates both Hanukkah and Christmas because she loves them both. Um, so I thought that this kit would be really beautiful uh, just for like a winter kit or if you celebrate Hanukkah or if you're just celebrating Christmas or any other holiday. So this is the ultimate kit. This is a little freebie with the blues and all of the little munchkins down at the bottom in the movie marquee. Then here we have the deco sheet and the deco is beautiful. Like I mentioned, I'm really into wrapping gifts and presents. So we've got gift boxes and hat boxes and tape and ribbon and bows and scissors and nail polish. It's all so beautiful. Here we have the icons, the dinos, habit, no, a flight tracker, Scribble Prince Co. Happy Mail, Scribble Prince Co. New Releases, and then your hidden flags up across the top here. And the accent color with this kit is silver glitter. Here we have the uh, functional sheet with these, what are these called? The weekly boxes and then the icons, the uh, weekend banner and the flags. Here we have the half boxes and quarter boxes and habit trackers again with the silver glitter and the blues. Then we have all of your headers and the pattern washi with this kit is like a soft marble effect. Solid washi and little things and labels all of the different headers, no, all of the different ombre heart checklists in the blue shades. And my favorite are these beautiful, beautiful full boxes. Like this is beyond. And when you know that a person drew this, I think it's incredible. So we've got the cell phone with the snowflakes, the beautiful girl holding on to all of the presents, the quote box, which is stunning. And it says sparkle all the way, a gift, some of those decorating stickers, the hat boxes with the ribbon, and then the hand writing the wish list down, which I think is beautiful. And it looks just like Jessica's hand with her nails like that. 
and again I think I also think this would be really good for Black Friday because it's kind of shopping and gift related and wish list related so I can't wait to use this I also think it'd be gorgeous just for the winter then here we have the bottom washi, the extra full box, and the date cover. So this is just like beyond. I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. Jessica is so talented, and I am really happy to have another kit by her. So this was the November mystery kit. Not sure if it's still available. The next kit that I picked up is also for Christmas, and it is called Santa Paws, and it is just the sweetest thing ever, and it is a very pink and gold and silver, glittery, feminine take on the holiday season. So, as you can see here, we have the deco, which are gifts and presents, and a tree and a little pug in PJs, which is just so much. Uh, the icons, the dinos, and those functional stickers. And this kit also has some of these little boxes. One says New Year's Eve, and the other one says Merry Christmas. So if you use this kit during uh, those days, you can go ahead and put these down. I think the idea was that this kit would be a really nice transition between uh, Christmas and New Year, because I think that they fall on the same week this year. I don't remember. Here we have the ombres, the ombre weeklies, the weekend banner, uh, the checklist, and then the little mini checklist, and I love that these all have this chunky sort of silver glitter. It's a little different from the other glitters that she's done, and all of this pink is just so divine. <laughs> We've got the half boxes and quarter boxes, then all of the printed washi, which is so cute, with the poinsettias in pink, and then uh, the little ornaments, and we have the weekly headers, solid washi, and little things. Oh, did I not show the little freebie? I did go through these, so sometimes they go out of order. And then all of the ombre heart checklists are done in an ombre glitter fade, which is so pretty. And here we have the full boxes. So cute, so girly and feminine. And I love this take on the holidays as well. Uh, the quote, of course, my favorite, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then we've got two boxes with the dogs on them. Now, I don't think I'll use the pug, and I know it's kind of sacrilege because Andrea has like seven pugs or something like that, um, or four or something like that. And this one's really cute, but I think I'm just going to go with one dog, and it's going to be that one in the hat because he is so, so sweet. So to supplement that, I did also pick up the add-on um tall boxes and these are beautiful with um, these girls decorating gorgeous trees in their ball gowns which are so pretty so definitely going to be using at least one of these if not more than one with the rest of the boxes and then on the last page we also have the bottom washi and then an extra box and the date covers and I love this print with the gold foiled gifts a uh, really big and graphic this is so gorgeous and very very me so I can't wait to use this kit either very nutcracker to me I think it's so pretty so that is Santa Paws and then the last kit that I have to share with you guys here is called Sweater Weather. This is another ultimate kit, and this one is less of a Christmas kit and more so a frosty winter kit. Obviously, you can use this whenever you'd like. You can use this in the dead of summer if you want, but I'm going to be saving this more for like January and February since that's when it gets really, really frosty where I live. So here we have the little freebie. And here we have the first page with the deco. It's got that same sort of graphic silver glitter as Santa Paws. And all of this deco is so cute. The little foxes and the mountains and the globes, the sweaters, the wreaths. So pretty. And then we've got the icons, the dinos, the functional stickers. Then we have the functional sheet. And I'm going to kind of zoom in so that you can see. I think you can see it pretty well there. The stickers in this kit, like the colorful... The multicolor have a soft snowflake pattern in the background, so the weeklies do, and so do these checklists. And a few different shops were using this artwork in their kits, but when I saw this like extra touch in Andrea's, I knew that I had to go with this one because I think it's so pretty when you have those extra little elements. Half boxes and quarter boxes, printed washi and headers solid washi and little things and then again all of the ombre heart checklists have the snowflake pattern which I think is so unique and pretty so I love that then here we have the full boxes which are so cute 
you have the quote box which says baby it's cold outside another favorite holiday song we've got the hand taking a picture of a flat lay on the cell phone the double box of the fireplace the mountain and then another shot of the girl holding the coffee like I mentioned before she's got pink hair and she's really pretty so super happy about this and then we have the bottom washi which I think is super pretty some shops were doing it with this sort of like abstract geometric print which I don't quite like as much as these brush strokes so happy to go with this one and the date covers are like a soft marble and then the extra box is this little fox which is so cute it's like a winter fox dog so super into that so that is the Santa Paws no it's not that is the sweater weather kit from Scribble Prints Co and with that that is everything for this haul so I'll be back in just a second to show you guys everything at once and we can wrap up this video Okay, everybody, so that is it for this haul video. I just put out some of my favorite items that I thought would make a really cute uh, little picture for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed everything. This is my favorite time of year to decorate for and to buy for, so I hope that uh, I showed some things that you guys are interested in as well. I know that lots of you guys share those feelings with me too. I'm anticipating some more items coming in, uh, just another handful of holiday-related items, so expect at least one more haul from me for the holiday season in the upcoming weeks. If there's anything that you purchased that I shared or anything that you're hoping to purchase now that you've seen it in my video, please be sure to let me know. I love it when um, I can inspire you guys to do some damage the same way that I do. And be sure to go ahead and check down below for all of those coupon codes like I mentioned because I definitely have plenty for the shops that I shared. So you don't want to miss out on that chance. So until the next one, you guys, I hope that you enjoy. I hope that you take care and we will chat soon. Bye-bye.